Hi, Meg from Artfish42 again. Look what we're doing today. We're transforming a baby grand piano. The client bought this gorgeous chandelier that they wanted to kind of marry the look. So we're gonna take a look at this piano first. There's a lot of crazing. The piano is very old. Um, there are some repairs that I had to do on pieces that kind of broke off or anything like that. And uh, it's a great piano. I mean, it works wonderfully. This is what we're going to do to it, just so you can get a little sneak preview. And we want to make this look a little more French or French inspired. I'm going to start by taping and protecting the inside of the piano. You want to make sure that you're just painting the outside. I scuffed up the bottom part a little bit and then I'm going to continue to clean and scuff the um, whole piece. I use some white lightning to clean the piano and then I went and scuffed it first and then I, I cleaned it. Please don't get water near the keys or the inside. And then after this, I am going to start the fun part. Now I'm using a primer. You're gonna see I do small little hatches. This is not a bleeder, this piece. I tested it before. So I am just doing like little cross hatches and things like that with the primer because I want to create texture. The piece has some really cool crazing and bumps and fun things. So I want to use that to my advantage. Here's a look after the first layer. I am going to do a second layer and then the onlays. I'm trying to figure out which onlays I'm going to use and here's what I picked. This is beautiful on this piano and you'll see as I come around, also this is after the second layer of the primer. Um, as I come around here, I just added also a little fleur-de-lis. And again, it is not solid. It's about building up the texture. Now we go in for the color. This is the first layer. I'm gonna use a French linen, which is so beautiful. Again, you watch that I missed the brush and not the piano itself. Get all in there. And I'll be continuing around to the other side. You notice I go left hand and right hand because I had broken my wrist and I can't do everything right handed anymore because it starts aching. So sometimes it does seem a little awkward. All right, now remember we have to match up that chandelier. So what I'm doing is a, well, I think this is actually Dixie Bell drop cloth and I am muddling it. So it's kind of like, um, just tapping in, blending in, um, to kind of get that muted background. And I love this look.
And this is the fun spot. This is where, um, you know, it's, this is the trust the process. The, once I put the wax on, it's all going to melt together. I'm going to do a clear wax first, which I forgot to, um, to film. So here is a dark wax. I used two waxes. This is, well, actually three waxes. I can't count. So we use the clear wax first. This is the dark wax. You're going to put it on and buff it off. And then once it's dry, you're really going to buff it. Um, and remember you can go back and add as much as you want. If you add too much, you could always take a little clear wax and um, pull it back. So this is the dark wax and it just kind of melts everything together. I love this look. After this, I am going to be using a black wax. We'll buff it up first. Here we go. Here's the back black wax. So I'm going into the little crevices of the onlay, and this is going to create shadow. So I'm going to put it on, kind of buff it out, spread it out a little bit, and I'm just going to keep going over this. So you'll see that. I love this. So you can see on the right hand side where I did all the shadowing and then on the left side it is plain. I will use some gold and some silver gilding wax on this whole piece, not only on the onlays, but you will see in a bit um, along the edges, along little areas, there we go on the edge of the piano, little areas that um, I just want to highlight and this is not a solid line of gilding wax it's just sporadic even though it looks like it's on everything and on the hardware um, like just around edges now here is the before look at that plain side and after that onlay looks unbelievable and it goes perfect with the chandelier. And the client also got a new piano bench, as you can see, pulling this whole room together. The designer sent me a picture of the new rug underneath and it's really tying everything together. This was such a wonderful and satisfying um, job to do, piece to do. I loved it and I'm looking forward to doing another piano but if you like please subscribe and follow and all that fun stuff and I hope to get some new um, videos up soon all right have a great day